actually a faculty in IIT Delhi. I joined in 2019 as an assistant professor. So it's been four years for me uh, working here uh, as an assistant professor. So we have, of course, uh, undergraduate research, postgraduate research, master students who do that, and PhD students. So uh, these are the three tiers, or you could say the three levels at which you could uh, do research. So our job is sort of divided into both research and teaching. And uh, if you ask me, research requires a sort of a relentless pursuit because you can never, uh, you, you really don't have um, a holiday in research. Whenever you are thinking about a problem, it, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you are on a holiday or whether you are at your home, so it is sort of relentless. Now, when we go to the undergraduate teaching or postgraduate teaching, most of these people learn things from a book and the issue is that in books generally um, uh, you know things are written in a very you know systematic manner of course but it's not also very self-explanatory or you know students have to sort of believe that this is what it is whereas new research keep keeps coming on every day and things that you had learned earlier they may have changed over time so students have to put a practice or have to inculcate a practice of trying to understand and critically analyze what they are reading. If they believe whatever is written, they may even believe false information, which is what happens when you look at a WhatsApp forward, right? So people have to critically examine things using their own, you know, uh, understanding of what should be logically right and what should be logically wrong. And when I was learning this field itself, um, I had to use a lot of aids, you know, uh, things like, uh, you know, uh, connecting materials with external things or connecting materials with things that I experience in everyday life, uh, giving them a personality, uh, and connecting the dots, right, how they behave and so on and so forth. So there was always a, um, a connection that I could make with real life. So I felt that there is an art present inside this particular scientific field. And technical papers, of course, uh, can present a very, you know, detailed and complicated picture of things, but they also present a very nice idea, very nice phenomena which is occurring due to physical reasons, right, or physical phenomena which are occurring because of logical reasons, something which you can sort of uh, join the dots and connect. So I introduced, when I introduces, introduced this course of mechanical behavior to my undergrad students, I saw that these people uh, were generally not very interested in studies. See, they are very uh, brilliant academically, right? Uh, they can solve problems faster than most of the people in the world. And, uh, but they are quite distracted. I think their last priority is coming and, uh, you know, studying a course in the class. Because the, the class environment itself is generally not conducive. So that's because, you know, teaching can get monotonous. Whatever I do, I've always felt that uh, my first half of the lectures that I take, uh, those, you know, those are much more energetic. But with time, students also get fatigued, right? It's like, it's a one-way communication. And even if I ask them questions, it so happens that some of them may not be really interested. So in order to get them to class, I used to use things like memes, you know, in my lectures. I would show them memes suddenly and would connect the meme with the topic as well. So this I started during the COVID uh, times and I, I found it very effective. Uh, the, my attendance to slowly increased in the online classes. Uh, of course, it never reached a peak uh, in terms of, you know, that, I, okay, there were so many people that I could not handle them. But there were s several people who, f who liked them and they sent me emails saying that this was a great approach. So I felt that they are more, they want to be more connected to the lecture as well as the content, right? I mean, the content of the lecture and the lecturer. So you need to bring in a human aspect that, you know, I am amongst you guys, I am living amongst you guys. I enjoy these things just like a layman would. And it's not so technical that you need to become a nerd to understand them. You can be, you know, a fun guy who likes to, you know, enjoy these things uh, as well as, you know, other things. You know, like memes are, of course, uh, they are really very well connected to popular culture, films, music and so on and so forth. So this approach actually encouraged me to try more experiments. Now what I did is I thought, okay, now I need to expose these people to research. Because research actually pushes you to have some critical analysis or do some critical analysis of uh, ideas. You know, um, 
if i write a particular technical paper it goes for a peer review and the peer reviewer is somebody else who is in the same field right and the peer reviewer sort of uh, you know he nitpicks on the work he tries to find out if it is logically conclusive and he has no incentive in saying that you are technically correct he tries to prove that you are wrong so that he i don't get the credit of publishing that paper we have moved on from the stage where people have communicating through writing you know people enjoy a video more people enjoy a movie more or if they want to get an essence of a book you see a book readers are there are quite a lot of book readers but a movie if it is it has a bad story line but presented well it can have millions of fans right it becomes a cult classic so uh, the way people so it's going to inculcate this communication idea very well and i think uh, some of my colleagues uh, around uh, at least in the iits have taken notice and they want to implement this idea at least that's what they told me now whether that happens is something we have to wait and watch I have several more ideas that i want to implement actually in uh, different types of courses uh, which uh, i will be doing over the course of time and uh, then later on i wish to also make this a sort of a event uh, in an all india event you know where colleges different colleges make you know such kind of ter- you know art forms on term papers and then we compete at a national level so that these can these people can become effective science communicators a <laughs> uh, teacher has to evolve a teacher cannot assume that uh, his way of teaching is the right way of teaching uh, if he sees that his effectiveness is dropping that is when a teacher should be Uh, responding to that there are some things which a teacher may not be able to help for example uh, there may be a great teacher of say political science but if people are not interested in politics you know they may not really want to uh, take a degree in that right uh, so limitations exist in terms of say for example materials engineering uh, people may say ah nice you know it's funky it's nice uh, teachers are cool but in the end it's not going to give me a job so i'm going to take up a coding course or i'm going to do a course in economics because i can go and uh, join a consulting company so these kind of challenges of course are very difficult to face uh, very difficult to solve for a teacher because we are not policy makers or we are not going to change the way industry is running in india you know those things happen at a larger level and uh, to adapt we cannot say that okay since it is uh, leading we start teaching computer science everybody starts teaching computer science that that cannot happen so the only thing that we can do is make sure that people have very nice mental health here um and that we evolve into a system that caters to their needs see they say or they always say at least in the you know in 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 in, the, in contemporary times people have very short attention spans right i mean they wish to move from one topic to the other just like a instagram reel so you flip over and then you move to the next one and then if you don't like it you move to the next one now you can't do that in a class right uh, so it it's a very challenging thing because a class has to uh, I mean, sorry if you look at uh, you know lecture series in a course you have 42 lectures and all of them have technical content some content you can present in a very nice way but some others you need to present the, the it's not easy to present a very complicated idea you may completely miss the point so you may require that they all pay attention at that particular point in a very serious manner right so teaching is an is an always evolving process some teachers may do it in a wonderful way which may be very nice and the audience may be thrilled uh but some may not be that easy to learn